Hello YouTube, welcome back to this week's video. This is Tui Zero IQJ. So this radio here is a Zygu X6100. I've done a few videos on this radio before, how to uh, set it up to receive Morse code, how to set it up so you can uh, set a preset message for use when you're calling CQ, rather than sit there calling CQ all the time, let the radio do it by setting a preset message. I've also done a video on how to fix the black screen of death because it happened on me twice. But it's very very easy to fix. Since the new firmware has been on, it hasn't happened, so hopefully they fix the issue. And I've also done a video on how to wideband this radio using an FTP server. But this week's video, I'm going to show you how to set it up so you can get the radio to call CQ in Morse code. So you can have preset messages and stuff. And all you do is tap the buttons across the bottom here. So first of all, we need to press Gen a few times. So my radio now says Radio Setting 1, Setting 2, Display Settings, System Settings and Memory Edit. If we press on MSG, you'll see now we've got a few predefined messages here. Now mine aren't predefined, I've cleared all mine out, and yours might say 6100 on the first one. So you've got five messages, you can stop to five messages when you, uh, so you can stop to five preset messages in this radio. So first of all, I'm gonna press on message one. And you'll see there, we've got a flashing cursor. Now at this point, you can connect a USB keyboard or you can connect a Bluetooth keyboard. Now, if you wanted me to do a video on how to connect a Bluetooth keyboard to this radio, post it in the comments below. And you can also use the on-screen keyboard, which is what we're gonna use. So we're just gonna press on keyboard. Now we can now use the multifunction key, this one here, to go to the characters and click it to enter the characters. If I wanted to do a C, I'll go down to the C, click it, go to the Q, And click it. Now, there's no easy way to do this, you just got to keep going through left or right. So let me press the space bar. So now I'm going to enter in the rest of the message. Okay, so I've entered in the message. Now I need to go through and go to enter. We're going to click the multifunction key. You'll see there it's now into the message at the top. And what we need to do now, just press keyboard. If we don't press enter and press keyboard, it just deletes the message. Now it's gonna press on save, so this one here. Now for this to work, this needs to be in CW mode and you can change that the button at the top. So if you're in, say LSB, which we're in now, you can change it by pressing CW with the mode button at the top there. If it's not in CW mode, it won't transmit anything for CW. And what we need to do now is press on gen so we've got the radio settings one, two, display settings, and we're gonna press on app. And I'm gonna click on modem. And down the bottom here, we've got modem or mode CW. You can change that to BPSK, RITI. We're gonna leave it on CW. Now to call CQ, we're just gonna press on message and click on the first message. You can see there, it's clicking away. Let's give it some volume. Now, that was a bit fast. Let's slow that down. You can just go app and rate and speed this one here. And then we can change that. Let's go down to 15. Press MSG. And let's give some volume and press MSG1. Now I'm not sure why that's not displaying on here. Maybe it doesn't display on here. Ooh, look at all that waterfall there. Let's go turn the volume down. Now when you when I watched the video on how to do PSK um, or PSK or RITI, it was just playing across here. I'm not sure why that's not doing it for the Morse code, but it was a quick video on how to send Morse code. I'm sure that'd be sending across the airways, but mine won't because I'm into a dummy load. Now I've also been playing around with getting a Bluetooth keyboard working for this thing, because it's a lot easier to type on a Bluetooth keyboard. I've also been playing around with a HDMI to USB-C, so we can get a video out for this. I'm sure you can if you run the XFE Linux on there, because that's been done before. I might play around, around with that. You can run um, you can run uh, FT8 directly from the radio, which would be good. 
using a, a USB mouse and keyboard and stuff. You can take messages out and send it across the airways using a beep, I think it's a, yeah, just a version of Linux, X, XFE Linux they've got working on this. I'm yet to play with that, but I will do. I use Linux Mint, which is a mate edition, so I'm sure XFE can't, can't be much different. If you want to see me do the video on how to set a Bluetooth keyboard up, then uh, post it in the comments below. But you can choose a USB keyboard or the on-screen keyboard. It's a bit cumbersome, but it works. Anyway, if you found the video some use, not to do, give it a thumbs up. If you don't like the video, the other button seems to work too. But as always, thank you very much for watching this video. This is 2E0IQJ, 7-3 for now.